In this demonstration, we will be covering the VFR 400 release control panel. This panel is primarily designed for releasing of pre-action, surefire, fire cycle 3, and deluge water-based extinguishing systems. The information and replacement parts for the VFR 400 release control panel can be found on our website on the technical data sheets, installation, operation, and maintenance manual, and the replacement parts book. The VFR 400 release control panel offers 12 different preset program options corresponding to the type of system in which you are installing as well as an additional program which can be set up as a custom program. The standard features for the VFR 400 include four Class B initiating zones, Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, and Zone 4. Two supervisory zones, Supervisory 1, Supervisory 2. Four Class B output circuits, Output 1, Output 2, Output 3, and Output 4, as well as four common relays, Trouble Relay, Alarm Relay, Supervisory Relay, Water Flow Relay. The first input we will cover is Zone 1, which as per the preset programs offered with the VFR 400, is the input in which your detection would be connected. The two most common types of detection are heat detectors, which typically have no compatibility issues with the panel as they do not draw constant power, and smoke detectors, where the information in regards to compatibility can be found on our installation, operation, and maintenance manual. Zone 1 is also the zone in which the fire cycle detectors would be connected when using one of the fire cycle programs. Zone 2 has different uses depending on which program is being selected for the type of system in which you are installing. Zone 2 on a single zone, single system, where the detection is only being connected to Zone 1, would just have one of the end-of-line resistors which is provided with the panel installed. A good example of this type of system would be a deluge system with electric release. Zone 2 can also be used on a single system in which you want to cross zone the detection. In this case, Zone 1 would have one line of detection and Zone 2 would have the other requiring both to operate before the solenoid would be energized open. The types of systems in which this configuration is possible can be found in our installation, operation, and maintenance manual. A good example of this configuration would be a single interlock pre-action system with electric release set up for the cross zone configuration. Zone 2 is also used for a low air alarm on a few of the programs. This type of configuration can be broken down even further into three different types of systems in which Zone 2 is used for a connection of a low air alarm. The first type of system would be one in which the low air alarm on Zone 2 has a sole purpose of being there to close a normally open solenoid that is in line with a pneumatic actuator so that loss of air pressure under normal power conditions does not trip the system. A good example of this type of system would be a Fire Cycle 3 single interlock pre-action system. The second type of system in which this configuration would be used is where the low air alarm for Zone 2 has a sole purpose of acting as one of the cross zone releases for the normally closed solenoid on the system, with the other being the detection wired into zone 1. This type of system is a double interlock pre-action system with electric new electric release. 
The third type of system in which this configuration would be used is where the low air alarm for zone 2 is acting as both to close the normally open solenoid on the system in line with the pneumatic actuator so that loss of air pressure under normal conditions does not trip the system as well as acting as one of the cross zone releases for the normally closed solenoid on the system with the other being the detection wired into zone 1. A good example of this type of system is a double interlock pre-action surefire system. Another use for zone 2 as per our preset programs in the panel would be a second detection zone acting independently from zone 1, making it possible for the VFR 400 to control two systems operating independent from each other with one panel. A good example of this type of system is a double interlock pre-action system with electric pneumatic release. The last use for zone 2 as per our preset programs in the panel would be to use it as an additional supervisory zone which would activate a supervisory bell upon initiation. A good example of this type of system is a fire cycle 3 wet system. Zone 3 is used to signal water flow in the system for each of the different program options. The devices connected to Zone 3 would be an alarm pressure switch or a water flow switch, depending upon which type of system you are installing. Depending on the program that is selected, initiation of Zone 3 can activate a general alarm, a water flow alarm, and also on the fire cycle 3 systems it will activate output number 4 to energize the normally open solenoid closed if this has not already been done by the other zones which initiate output number 4. Zone 4 is the input for manual release of the system on all of the different preset programs except for one. The one that zone 4 is not manual release and is a second water flow zone is when the VFR 400 is set up to control two systems operating independently from each other. Supervisory inputs 1 and 2 on the VFR 400 for the preset programs will either be the input for the low air alarm or for the valve tamper supervisory alarm depending on which of the programs you are using. Mm -hmm. Output 1, as per all of the preset programs on the VFR 400, is the output for the connection of the device that will signal a general alarm. The inputs which will initiate the general alarm will be dependent upon which program you have selected. Okay. Output 2 for the VFR 400, as per the preset programs, can be used for three different functions depending on which program is selected. The most common use for output 2 would be for the supervisory bell. A few of the programs it is used for the water flow device output and on the programs where the VFR 400 is controlling more than one system, output 2 is used for the release solenoid for the first system. Output 3 for the VFR 400 preset programs is used for the release solenoid on each of the different programs. On the programs in which the VFR 400 is controlling two systems, it is used for the release solenoid on the second system. Okay. Output 4 has a few different functions depending on which preset program selected with the VFR 400 panel. Output 4 can be the output for the connection of a supervisory bell, water flow, or a trouble bell for New York City only, or it can be the output for the connection of the normally open solenoid that would be used on the fire cycle 3 and surefire systems. Which input or inputs that will initiate output 4 will depend upon the program which is selected. Mm -hmm. The trouble relay can be used to send a signal through the change of state to another panel or notification device when any of the following occur on the VFR 400 panel. A panel fault which is a ground fault, which is a short between any circuit and earth ground. Loss of AC power, a complete loss or a reduction in voltage of AC power. 